Tuesday's Times, and it looks as though my irreversible decline into bigotry and subsequent ostracization might be slowed by a simple <laughs> algorithm, Steve. Yeah, Google. For me. They've got a new function on Google Docs. <laughs> don't know if you use it, but it's uh, inclusive language, which makes suggestions of other phrases you could use to be more inclusive. Mm. And it's got the same old reactionary types, the knee jerk snowflakes who love to moan about things angry. That sentence, by the way, lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Sorry, it lit up like a festive arboreal decoration. Snowflake <laughs> is inclusive, though, isn't it? That's a non joke Sides, term, to yeah. Be fair. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, you can turn this function off. Yeah. So if you don't like it, calm down. So the yeah. actual complaint is, why aren't things the way I want them to be without yes. me doing anything? Why yeah. is Google, the thing I don't pay for, not doing exactly what I want? Mm. It is quite funny that I've, I bought a new car recently and it's got a couple of features I didn't like on the dashboard. And there's always an, an, an annoying few miles, few hours before you find out how to turn them off. <laughs> yeah. And then it's gone. Well, That's fine. You know. I don't like the fact that Word turns quotes into curly quotes. What am I, fancy? <laughs> but I turn that off. Curly quotes? What's that? Yeah, you know, the quote marks. You yeah. can have the proper good old-fashioned yeah. ASCII normal yeah. symbols, but you, it updates them to these weird... Oh, I haven't words. seen those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm Maybe not, you didn't uh, even notice yet. Not a fan. Yeah. No. It's terrible if you're trying to write HTML as well. I'll tell you what the worst <laughs> one is, though, just on predictive text or autocorrect or autocomplete, whatever is on on phones regularly changes things to the exact opposite of the word you're trying to say. The word was, it completes to wasn't. So often. <laughs> so it goes, I'm sorry, I was thinking of you this morning. So I wasn't thinking of you. <laughs> Just needlessly argumentative. It, keep, it keeps changing and to abs. I'm yeah, like, abs. I'm obsessed abs. with my abs. Yeah, yeah, yeah An exactly. old gay obsessed with his stomach muscles. There is a way, <laughs> there is a way, apparently somebody showed me, where you can ban it from making a certain correction. Oh, really? Yeah, because once you've done abs three or four times, it goes, well, I guess he does mean abs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Now it feels like I'm arguing with my phone, which is just an old man waving his fist to the sun. Yeah. Saying, Why is the planet changing? I'm going uh, to write something and put it through this feature and see if well, I can still get it printed. I will phones. say, though, I mean, so, firstly, it's only suggestions, and yeah. you can turn it off. But um, one example is that if you're writing something, it would turn housewife into stay-at-home spouse. You don't need that. No. But if you were writing to housewives, yeah. if it gave you a nudge to be, oh, by the way, that, yeah. that excludes some people. Because as a new dad and stand-up comedian, so it's not like I work. Yeah. Stay-at-home dad. Home Dad. I'm going to be the primary carer for my kids, so yeah. if I get a letter inviting mums to bring the baby to whatever event, That's I'm going true. to be left out. Yeah. If Google could be like, oh, you've just left out all the dads there, yeah. I'm in favour of it. Yeah. To be honest, our toddler didn't toddle either for quite mm. a while, and I used to feel a little bit angry about that, bring, bring him to the toddler group, and I was like, he's not toddling. Can I, can I just bring him and <laughs> pass him where he is? I should just, when I'm talking to my father, because he won't call my husband my husband, because uh, he said that makes you the wife. And you I know, I was this. always Another thought about that. that. It is slightly Odd because the, the, those terms are a bit archaic in themselves. I'm yeah. not. I, I understand. But do you know what I mean? Do you feel 100% happy with husband, or did you feel it was a slightly? Because every. I mean, people have done routines about this for. for yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, partner makes it sound like a contractual right, relationship, right. and and main squeeze makes it sound. Old yeah, fashioned. yeah. <laughs> other, other half. I yeah. mean, most of the middle class, middle aged in Britain have long had uh, so many euphemisms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They? The ball and chain. It did make us feel knocked down a peg because it made us feel heterosexual. Yeah. But I told my father, you can call him by his name, and my dad's like, I can't remember his name. I said, <laughs> There's the problem right there. I do. I've got to be honest with you, though. I have a, uh, a, a friend, uh, Donald, his name is, if he's watching this, he lives in Spain now, so it's unlikely I should be safe. A gay man in his 60s, and he had a, a partner, and he was Spanish, and it was either Jose or Juan, which are the two <laughs> Spanish names, and I could never remember. My wife immediately remembered, but as soon as I had remembered that I couldn't remember, that became the overwhelming fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just impossible, and I would never be confident. <laughs> and even though I might say it and get away with it, yeah. it's terrible. Just terrible. call him Guapo. Just say yeah. Guapo. <laughs> right, everyone wants to hear that. We all want to hear that. I think there should be a new word for it, though, uh, stuck like that, because husband always suggested to me a sort of almost like a farm management sort of arrangement. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And my right hand man sounds, <laughs> sort of bossing around. Right hand man sounds like something else, doesn't it? Yes, so, indeed. Yeah, it's hard to. I, we'll find something. We should work on that.